is a hard knot, kind of like a bump in the eyelid. Now these uh, calasians will form. They'll be there for months and months. They're non-tender. They don't hurt to touch, but uh, patients who have them can certainly feel them. Dries them nuts because they can be quite large, very apparent. You know, the eyes are the focus of attention when you talk to people, and having a large bump on your eyelid is very annoying. But a calasian, it's, uh, it's not an infection. It's not a tumor. It's nothing really big, but they are annoying, and this is how they form. Now at the base of our eyelashes, we have what we call meibomian glands, and these glands are little oil glands that produce oil that gets squirted into our tear film, and this oil is important. The oil keeps our tears from evaporating too quickly, keeps the tears nice and lubricated. However, if one of these little glands gets clogged up, that oil can back up into the eyelid and basically create a round pocket of oil, and that's what turns into the calasian. That's what that bump is. So it's not an infection, it's not an abscess, it's a basically an uh, inflammatory collection of oil that's backed up into the eyelid. Now, unfortunately, if that oil gets too big and that pore stays closed off, it can sometimes encapsulate and you end up with a big pocket of oil in there. So if we look at a side profile, the calasian is very deep, and basically those glands clog up and you get this little oil pocket in the eyelid. Now, that's a little bit different than sty. Sty is what we classically describe as a pimple or a little bit of an infection. If one of these surface uh, sebaceous glands or maybe even at the base of the eyelash gets infected, and this is more like a pimple. Styes are typically painful, uh, short-lived, maybe go away after a week. Calasian, on the other hand, is much deeper, doesn't hurt to touch, and is usually there for a long time. So how do we treat it? Well, the first step is see if you can get it to drain on its own. Basically, I recommend my patients uh, massage, uh, have good lid hygiene, maybe use a little bit of shampoo on the eye. Um, I'll go over that in a second. But basically, if you can massage and get this thing to drain on its own, wonderful. We don't have to do anything about it. It goes away. But uh, here is a video of a very extreme Calasian. So this is a very large one, not, not usually nearly this big. But you can see there's this large bump in the eyelid. Non-tender, it's not hurting when I push on this thing with a Q-tip. And um, it's been there for months. And fortunately, this one's actually draining. You can actually see some of that drain oil. That's not really pus. It's more of a sebaceous oil. There it is. It's coming right out, wiping it with a Q-tip there. So this calasian is draining, fortunately. And so the patient was able to massage in the shower and really work at this eyelid, get this thing to drain. Didn't have to do any type of surgical procedure to, uh, to take care of this. However, for most people, that doesn't really work. Once they come in, by the time they come in, the thing's been there several months. There's not a whole lot you can do to drain it. It's sort of encapsulated. You can kind of think of these things like a kind of like an orange in the eye. An orange has a nice uh, orange rind around it. And, um, but we can do something surgically. So here's what I like to do. Um, to remove a calasian, or at least to get this thing to drain, you don't want to make an incision on the skin because the last thing people need is a big scar on their eyelid. So normally what we do is uh, inject a little bit of lidocaine. That's a, uh, a numbing medicine, very similar to Novocaine that you might get at the dental office, uh, into the eyelid. And that's actually probably the worst part of the whole procedure, just getting that numbing medicine, because it burns a little bit going in. It's a little bit of a bee sting. But once that numbing stuff is in, the rest of the procedure is usually pretty easy. Put a little clamp in and uh, turn the eyelid over. And the idea behind doing that is if you're going to make an decision, you want to do it on the inside of the eyelid. That way, heaven forbid, it scars a little bit. You don't want to have a scar on the surface. So we turn the eyelid over, make a little nick, and get into the middle of this thing. And I take a little device. It's very similar to a, uh, kind of like a very small ice cream scooper. Go in there, scoop that oil out, break up the little loculations in there, and get the thing to drain. And then when we're done, we flip the lid back, put a little bit of uh, erythromycin ointment in the eye, and put a patch on for a couple hours just to keep it from bleeding too much. So what to expect after a drainage like this? What's well, going to ooze? It's going to ooze blood. We don't put a stitch in there because you don't want to stitch on the inside of your eyelid. Every time you blink, it'll rub on your cornea. It's going to hurt. So you basically just let the thing heal on its own. But all it takes is like half a drop of blood to make all of your tears look very red. So I usually tell people, you know, your, I, uh, your tears are going to be kind of red for the next few days. There's usually a lot of swelling. You know, we just did a little surgical, surgical procedure, messed around with the eye, so there's going to be some swelling. It might look like you got in a fight. But once that swelling goes away, hopefully things will look a lot better than it did before. And there's always a chance for recurrence. Uh, people who tend to get calasians tend to get them, again, just because their meibomian glands have a tendency to get clogged. And if I usually tell people after a calasian removal, you know, if you want to keep this from happening again, lid hygiene is kind of important. You know, once a day, you may want to, if you want to do it in the shower, um, take a washcloth, get some Johnson's & Johnson's baby shampoo, and get that washcloth kind of sudsy. Close your eyes. You don't want to get shampoo in your eyes. And very gently rub along your eyelashes. A combination of that warm water, a little bit of soap, and that massaging action will get your meibomian glands flowing and hopefully keep them from getting clogged up and keep you from getting calasians in the future. So calasian, something we see, uh, I see at least one or two a week, uh, very easy surgical procedure to drain, though I like to give people a benefit to see if they can get it to